So I'm warping my yarn for dyeing and instead of having a cross, I'm using a warping board. I'm warping my yarn for dyeing and instead of using the pegs that you have for warping, I'm using an actual warping board. So that's why I have these extra pegs here. But I just went ahead and warped in a circle. So instead of having the cross, this is a complete circle. And I've measured, so each peg is one yard. So I've measured out how much yarn I need. Before I take it off of the warping board, I'm taking the end thread and the very beginning thread and tying them together. This is so one doesn't get loose and get tangled in the rest of the yarn. Now I need to secure the yarns. So I'm securing the yarn so when it's dyed and it, when it's in the water, it doesn't get tangled. So first what I'm doing is taking one chunk of the yarn and putting another piece of yarn through and another. So you can see I just wove that yarn through and now I'm going to go back the opposite way through the same chunks of yarn. So you can see right here I've woven through that. Now I need to tie the top of the yarn and I'm tying it so it's fairly loose. So you can see the yarn can still move around but it's all tied together. And I'll do that four places. So I'm doing that at each end and on each side of the middle. And if I tie it too tight, it's going to resist the yarn from being dyed. So I want to make sure the yarn can move freely through, freely even though it's tied. So there's another one. And I'll do two more and then I can put this into the dye bath. Now that my yarn is tied in four different places, I'll slip it over the top of the warping pegs. So I have this loop of yarn that I'll put into the dye bath.